Okay, so the last video in section 11.3, we're going to look at question 7. It says, find the area of one of the petals of the curve, r equals the cosine of 3 theta. Okay, so here I have the graph of r versus theta, and note that since this is cosine of 3 theta, okay, the period of this wave is 2 pi over 3, and then just like we were doing in section 11.2, to get this corresponding polar curve in the xy plane, well, note that first, as theta goes from minus pi over 6 to pi over 6, r goes from 0 up to a max of 1 when theta is 0, and then it goes back to 0. Okay, so that says if we rotate from minus pi over 6 to pi over 6, okay, we're going to wind out here, reach our maximum radial distance when theta is 0, and then come back into the origin in a symmetric fashion. So we're going to trace out this petal right here. And then from pi over 6 to pi over 2, r is negative. So as we rotate from pi over 6 to pi over 2, our graph will be down here in quadrant 3. So we're going to trace out this petal. And then from pi over 2 to pi over 6, r is positive. So we're going to be in quadrant 2, and we'll trace out this petal here. And then from 5 pi over 6 on, we're just going to retrace these petals. And so we're looking at this 3 petaled curve. And we want to find the area of one of the petals. So I'll go ahead and find the area of the petal that lives in quadrants one and four. So this area here in green. And I'm going to take advantage of symmetry, right? So I'll find the area in quadrant one and then just double it. Okay. And as we already noted, okay, the uh, curve here in blue, right, returns to the origin when theta is pi over six. And so setting up this integral over here, okay, the total area in green will be two times our area in quadrant one. And so that will be two times the integral of one half r squared, and r here is cos three theta, d theta, and theta will vary from zero up to pi over six. All right, now I'll go ahead and factor out this half, so that gives us a one. But then note, I have a cosine squared, and I'm going to trade that in for 1 half 1 plus cos 6 theta. And this 1 half here from this identity, that will come out front. So that's right there. And now I'm left to integrate 1 plus cosine of 6 theta. So that's theta plus 1 sixth sine of 6 theta. And then evaluate at 0 and at pi over 6. Subtract and simplify. We get pi over 12 for the area of one of the pedals. Cool. Well, that's going to do it. I will see you next time. Thanks so much.